So I've had a long history with Murray Bowen and his famous theory. My very first lecture as a professor was on Bowenian theory. At the time, I was 26 and terrified out of my mind. The night before I had to give the lecture, I almost quit my assistant teaching gig because I was so terrified. I remember I was pacing back and forth in my apartment and so close to just picking up the phone and saying, I give up. I, 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 I Never mind. I don't want to be a teacher. This is too terrifying for me. Uh, I'll just be a therapist and, and that'll be that. But I didn't make that phone call, and the next day I stood up and gave my lecture on Bowenian theory, and as I think about it right now, perhaps Bowen himself might have told me at that moment as I gave that lecture, or the night before when I decided that I would actually do it instead of quitting, he might say that my intellectual guidance system had prevailed over my emotional reactivity, thereby I was expressing my differentiation. So since that first lecture, I've continued lecturing on Bowenian theory to my family therapy students and counseling students. I've also supervised post-grad therapists who considered themselves to be Bowenian therapists. Among other family therapists, when I talk to them, we often use Bowenian terminology. Mainly, we use words like differentiation and triangulation, because there's really no other words in our field that capture what those words mean that Bowen invented. I've also used his theory in my own work with my clients. And as a professor in a family therapy program, for the past, well, let's see, since 98, so almost 17 years now, I've used his model of self-differentiation as a model to encourage therapists in training to grow as a person and, and become better therapists. In other words, in, in the program that I teach, one of the things that we require that all the students do is to learn Bowenian theory and then we encourage them, they're not required to because that would be taking it too far, but we encourage the students to do similar family of origin work that Bowen did himself that I'll explain later. So, so another area in which Bowen is in my life is, to be honest, I, I've used this theory as a guide to grow as myself as a person. I've used this theory to guide my efforts to differentiate from my own family of origin. So Bowen has been a part of my life since I was first introduced to him in graduate school when I, when I started in 1995. And the rest of today's episode will be about that. I have 29 pages of notes, and based on past experience, that means this episode is going to be quite long. So sit back and get ready. Hey, deserving listeners, this is an old episode that we have re-released as a patron-exclusive episode. So if you want to hear the full episode, you have to become a patron of the podcast by going to patreon.com. Patrons get access to all the premium episodes on the Patreon page and on their phone podcast application, or app as they call them. <laughs> when you become a patron, we'll let you know how to access the premium feed on your phone. 